Hi there. So I wanted to post a video about my sewing machine. It's been a while since I've gotten it and it took me some time to get to it to use it. So what I wanted to do was go right off the bat and start sewing, but I found out that it is a little complicated machine and it's very different from my old machine and everything is so uh, complicated which you know is not a problem for, so for me it's you know a bit of a learning curve so I didn't think that this was an old machine but when I went to look for videos on how to do the bobbin threading I did not find much. So what I ended up doing was reading a PDF file and figuring out how to do that. So hopefully this video helps for people who want to see a video to learn how to thread the bobbin on this one. So it's a Brother PC420 um, and I specifically purchased this model and type because I read the reviews and it sounded really awesome for, for what I want to do. And so far it's great. So let's get to it. Okay, so we'll show you the inside first. When I got this one, I realized that I didn't have a thread guide cover. I believe that's what it was called. So this is a secondhand sewing machine that I got for really cheap. But um, I've been using it without the cover. So I, I kind of imagined where the threading would go. So it's really, I don't think it's not a critical piece. It's something to help you guide the thread. It's way different than my old machine. So first of all, I want to show you guys um, the threading from the spool and then this piece here, that's the tension and then this here that the your bobbin goes on. So we'll get started. I will use this thread since I already have white. So this is pretty simple in terms of taking off the thread, pulling it out, putting the new one in. So the way it wants you to, to load this is that the thread comes out from the bottom here. So when that's um, positioned, you will then put this cap on, secure it, and then you will loop your thread over this hook, first hook. So if you have a thread guide cover, I imagine you won't see a lot of these components. So then it goes under this, which you might not see, but if you do look at the diagrams in the PDF files, it'll show what um, where the thread would go. And then here, you want to loop it underneath, so you're going around, and then under the tension thread. So I want to make sure that you guys see this, but maybe it's hard to see. The thread is going to go underneath this hook and come back up and go around this tension disc. And then you're going to and I think this has a little bit of guide to show you exactly 
how your thread should go. And then in the instructions, it says that you should have your bobbin in there. So what I'm going to do is get out my handy little compartment thing here. So in here, I've got this bobbin that came with the machine. And I've determined that I probably don't need to buy any more bobbins because I have the same size from my old, my other old machine as this one. But I will show you how to do it with this bobbin. So this bobbin has a notch. And I think most bobbins will have notches right here. And you're going to line it, the notch up with this knobby thing there. So when you move it, there's, it doesn't move that much. So then what you want to do is put your thread and the instructions say clockwise around this five times. So one, try not to get it hooked under this first and give yourself some length on this. One, two, three, four, five. And then there's a neat little trick on this. So once you've done it five times, went around five times clockwise, you're going to tuck it in this little notch. So in this notch is also a cutter. And as you pull it through, you're also gonna cut the tail end of this. So I'm gonna pull it through and voila, it cut it for me. So that's good. Everything looks good. My thread looks good. Now, normally by this time you would have the machine on. So I'll put it on now and you'll notice that there's this red light here. The red light's just saying that you're not ready to sew. But once you move this into position, so I moved it from where it was to here. So I'll show you guys again. So this gets pushed. The color changes and it's, I guess, orange yellowish color. So this is the color for threading the bobbin. The other color is red, which is you're not ready to sew. And the other color is green, which is you're ready to go and sew. So now we're ready. And I've done this a few times to where I've noticed that I need to make sure that this is down because I've a couple of times did not make sure that this was down all the way. And this thread coming in when it started to wind ended up underneath the disc and it was a pain to um, clean. So the other thing you wanna do is set your speed. When I started out, I wanted to go slow because it, it went pretty fast even on slow. So you guys will see that. But if you're confident, you can put this all the way to very, very fast. But I'm not confident because I know how fast this thing goes. So then you wanna make sure that this lines up in the up position and we're ready to go. So what you do is you push this button and when you push this button, it starts winding. And like I said, it will happen really fast. So I need to keep an eye up here to make sure that it's staying on the bobbin. So down here, I will push. And there it goes. So in the instructions, it says to immediately stop the machine when it slows down. So as this is going, you'll notice it will start to hit the silver um, stop here. So everything's going well. It's gonna start to hit the silver stop there. And I have my, but my, my hand on the button to stop immediately.
Mm, it's almost there. There it goes. So the last time I had some time to, to stop. It started to slow down before it completely stopped, but this time it completely stopped. So then you just pop it off and it is ready to go. So you'll notice that there is also another notch on this side, just the same way there, there was a notch on this side to cut the bobbin before you started threading or the thread before you started loading the bobbin. So on the other side, there's also another notch with another cutter. So when you're done, you would have taken the thread, pulled it through that notch to cut it again, and then you can pop off the the bobbin and there is your fully loaded bobbin. So loving my PC 420. Um, maybe I shall post more videos on how to's for this machine because like me, I'm sure all of you guys don't want to read PDF files either. And hopefully this is useful to you. Thanks you guys.